They are the one who created us that we can talk to them in their own mother tongue now. Another example from this book of another confrontation. You see the Christian missionaries, they have the patience and the perseverance to follow up any opportunity. Unlike the Muslims, you see you have an argument, a debate, a discourse with a non-Muslim and you seem to have got him cornered. What do you do? You start going around boasting, say, well, you know, I had him fixed up, man. I shut him up. Finished, you're satisfied. Not the Christian. He will follow you up day in and day out, day in and day out until you are converted. Or you say, hey, don't darken my door again. Otherwise, I'll put a bullet through you. I'll put a knife through you. That you haven't got the guts to say that. Nor am I expecting you to do that. But unless you say that, that guy will never let you go. You give him a finger, he'll catch you by the hand, he'll never let you go. They have the patience and the perseverance which we haven't got. Shame on us. Shame on us. So, this Christian missionary got stuck into an Arab sheikh. Day in and day out. Preaching to him that you're wasting your time, ya sheikh. Pray five times a day, up and down, up and down. You fast for one whole month and you straight jacket your life. You don't drink, you don't gamble, you don't eat the pig and on and on. Allah is not hungry for that. You want salvation? You believe that he sent his son into the world and he died for your sins and salvation is yours. God Almighty, he came down to earth and he died for your sins. Believe and be saved. And he won't let go. Every day he's there. Every day he's there. He's making life miserable for this poor Arab sheikh. How is he to get out of the difficulty? So he plans a strategy. He tells his his prime minister, his wazir, he said, look man, tomorrow when he comes, I want you to whisper something in my ears. Okay. He said, yes. That's all. And the missionary came. Assalamu alaikum. So the Arab, as usual, ahlan wa sahlan. Beautiful words of welcome. The most beautiful words of welcome in any language. Ahlan wa sahlan. Just think that you are a member of the family and sahl be at ease. If you want to pick your nose, you may do so. Like in the army, stand at ease. Now you can do what you like. Ahlan wa sahlan. So the guy sits down. And he starts. Same old story. So the, the, the minister comes along and whispers something in the races, in the chief's ears. And the chief begins, began to cry, like a woman who has lost her husband. He, he started to cry. <laughs> so the priest wants to know what's wrong, what has happened. <laughs> he said, don't talk. So come on man, come on, please tell, tell us, you know we may sympathize with you. <laughs> no, you can't. He's crying, crying. Acting, actually he's acting. So the priest is more eager to know what has happened, what's the sad news. So he said, you know, I just got the sad news that the Akhi Jibreel, Jibreel alayhi salam, the Archangel Gabriel, he died. Mamat, Marge, Jibreel alayhi salam, Marge. So the priest says, you fool, angels don't die. So the Arab Sheikh says, and you fool, you telling me that God died? Now see, this is the time.